Hi folks, in this tutorial we are going to get Espresso running inside Visual Studio Code. Now Espresso is a molecular dynamic simulation software with a Python script interface. So instead of using a graphical user interface, you're, uh, you need to configure and run your simulations with a small Python program. And that is also why we can use an integrated development environment like Visual Studio Code for running Espresso. I'm not going to discuss what Espresso is all about in this video. However, to get you started, I just want to show very quickly what you need to do to get Espresso running on your system. If you already have a working build, you can skip ahead to when I actually start explaining the Visual Studio Code relevant stuff. The first thing you need to do is go to EspressoMD.org. Go to the download section and download the latest release. Now you can unpack the archive. Now the Espresso source code is in this folder and I'm going to cut and paste it in my home directory. Now I go into the folder, create a new directory called build. Next I go into the build directory, right click, open in terminal and I type cmake dot dot. So because we need to build Espresso from the source code this command um, checks whether all the dependencies are installed on the system. And if not, uh, then it will output an error that some of the dependencies are missing and you can install them and try again. If CMake succeeded, then you can simply type make. And this actually compiles the code and you will get a working Espresso build. This usually takes a moment. Now, depending on the features that you want to use inside Espresso, you may need to configure your installation before running CMake. An in-depth explanation on how to do that is available on the Espresso website under documentation and the installation section. And here you can find a whole lot of information on how to configure your installation. Now, because I didn't do any configuration, I'm presented with a default feature set, which is uh, sufficient for getting started with Espresso. Now that the build process is done, we can find the executable in the build folder, and it is called PyPresso. And we can actually run it from the same terminal by typing dot forward slash PyPresso. And we can see that it is basically a Python interpreter with the ability to import the Espresso Molecular Dynamics module. And we can check that by typing import Espresso MD. And if it doesn't complain, then we could successfully import the module. And it can do any other Python stuff, as you can see, for example, by typing print hello world. It does just that. Okay, now we have the PyPresso executable and I'm going to show you how to get it running inside Visual Studio Code. First of all, let's try to run this test file which is trying to import the Espresso module. It's throwing an error because it cannot find the module. So how we're going to fix that is going to settings search for the setting interpreter path. And now we're presented with this option, default interpreter path of Python. And now I'm going to replace this by the path to my PyPresso executable. So here's my path. And you may notice that I've put it relative to my home directory. And I've done this because for me, it didn't work uh, with an absolute path. So you may need to do this too if that's the case. Now I'm going to copy this path and paste it into another setting that is called Python path. 
Now there's actually a lot of paths associated with Python, so we have to go down the list a little bit to a setting that is called just Python path. And here we have it. I think actually only one of these paths needs to be modified, but which one it is may depend on your setup. So now let's test if it works. Doesn't complain, so that's good. Here I have prepared a small simulation script for Espresso and we can check if it runs. And it appears to run just fine. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any further questions, please let me know. And I hope to see you soon.